Hey guys, 2017 seems like the year of the two-in-one. It's the year of the two-in-one. There's lots of great options, but some are overpriced for what they offer and some have a lot to offer, but the quality just isn't there. Well, I think for the money on the Surface, get it, cause, cause the Surface Pro, which is also a <clears throat> two-in-one, two Never mind. The Spectre X2 is a really attractive option, but settle down, Spaz. Let's dig a little deeper, shall we? All right, well, for starters, in addition to the Spectre X2, in the box, you get a USB-C quick charger, the HP Active Pen, a USB-C to USB-A dongle, and the keyboard, which for $1,300, considering the much more expensive alternatives, is actually really good. Now, there is a model for about $1,200, but the model I was sent, which I think has the best performance to cost balance, has an Intel Core i7 7560U, eight gigabytes of RAM and a 256 gigabyte NVMe SSD. So what about its design and build quality? Well, my mama always said beauty's in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> Let me tell you, if the Spectre X2 was a woman, I'd hit it. That's derogatory. Yeah, what isn't these days, lady? So we got this dope aluminum dark ash silver body with the copper colored HP logo and stainless steel copper colored U-shaped kickstand that rotates up to 165 degrees, which might just be one of the best kickstands on a two-in-one ever. It's totally subjective, don't kill the messenger. The whole thing's super duper solid feeling and it's hotter than Jessica Alba in a hot tub. No, it's not. Now on the left, we've got a USB-C port for data and charging, a micro SD card slot, and a headphones port. On the right, we've got our volume rockers, another USB-C for both charging and data, and finally a power button on the top. So the 12.3 inch IPS display has a resolution of 3000 by 2000, and holy crap, this thing looks awesome. That 3K by 2K resolution gives us lots of detail with great sharpness. Uh, it's got a great color gamut and even better contrast. So whether you're browsing the web, consuming content, or looking at pictures of yourself, you'll be pleased with what you see. I know I was. Now, there's stereo speakers on both sides of the display tuned by Bang & Olufsen. They actually sound pretty good. Uh, there's very little in the lows, but mids are great and highs are crisp. There's a five megapixel front facing webcam that'll do in a pinch. There's also a 13 megapixel rear camera that, well, Let's just move on to the keyboard. Which I actually really like because just like its other half, the keyboard's aluminum too, so there's no annoying flex while typing, which is something I also like considering it's a two-in-one keyboard. The keys are backlit, which is nice. However, they are a little soft, but they do have a nice feel when pressed. <laughs> I feel like there's a that's what she said joke in there somewhere. It attaches really easily with some really strong magnets that lock those connector pins into place, which I found to be both fast and really convenient. Um, the trackpad is nice and wide, which is something else I really like, but it's stuttery like a high school boy on his first date, and really inaccurate for tiny movements like a high school boy on his first date. Sometimes I have to wiggle the cursor to get it to register and start moving. Um, I don't know if it's cause it uses ELAN drivers instead of Windows precision drivers like they should, but yeah, not a fan of the trackpad performance. The HP Active Pen that came with my review unit came with a dead quadruple A battery. And there's only one store in my city that sells quadruple A's, but it's too far away. And I'm not about to drive all that way just to buy a battery for a pen. Having said that, I can tell you that I think HP threw in the pen as an addition and not as like a main feature like on other two-in-ones, since the only software relating to the pen is the HP Pen Control app. Now, I think one of the very few areas the Spectre X2 has been lacking in is performance. Now, don't get me wrong, it'll still cold boot in about 10 seconds and it'll do everything a two-in-one is designed to just fine, but it seems like it constantly gives me the odd delay when I ask it to perform pretty simple mundane tasks. So it's a lot like my wife, really. I hope she doesn't watch this video. So battery life wasn't terrible, but far from what HP claims at nine hours. Um, during my time with the Spectre X2, I wasn't able to get much more than four hours of use. It's certainly far from great, but it's also far from the worst. Luckily, charging times are fractional compared to others with its quick charger, giving you a 50% charge in just 30 minutes. But it's worth noting that that's only for the first 50%. Afterwards, it drops down and finishes off the final 50% at normal charging rates, most likely to prevent damage the battery and other components due to heat. I think the Spectre X2 is a pretty sweet two-in-one. Build quality is phenomenal. I love the kickstand. I love the two USB ports. The display is killer and the keyboard's great, but the trackpad drives me nuts and the overall performance is underwhelming. And those are two things you're gonna have to deal with 
every single time you go to use it. So while I like it, I just can't quite give it my full recommendation. Well, that's it for this one. As always, I'll be hanging out in the comments for a bit if you want to say hi or have any questions. If you like the video, be sure to show me some love and hit at that like button. And if you're new to my stuff, don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.